Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine, and this is your Midday News Brief. Officials within the Department of Health and Wellness came together recently for the Pan American Health Organization, POWs, biennial meeting to identify priority areas in the health sector. Participants were also granted the opportunity to assess the progress made with the health programs. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Merlin Fredericks James expressed gratitude to PAO for its assistance over the years in the development of the health plan. According to Dr. James, while reviewing the Ministry of Health's various program areas with PAO, it was noted that the ministry's implementation rate has been increasing and improving steadily through the years. The biennial work plan focused on areas such as non-communicable diseases, mental health, health promotion and health emergencies, to name a few. Staff of the Ministry of Commerce recently participated in a training session on business management using a simulation game called the Micro Business Game. The Micro Business Game is a training session which uses real-life scenarios that business persons face. It incorporates decisions that they have to make and the consequences of those decisions on their finances, raw materials, human resources, cost of production, product prices, marketing efforts, and risk management. The Micro Business Game is a practical and fun training session aimed at sharpening the business sense of entrepreneurs. The Small Business Development Center invites the business community to register for the upcoming session scheduled for February 5th to the 7th and February 19th to the 21st. For registration details, contact the Small Business Development Center. The Electrical Division within the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labor is embarking on a public education drive which focuses on the legal requirements for routine inspections of domestic and commercial electrical connections. The Electricity Supply Act, which regulates the generation, transmission and distribution of electricity in St. Lucia, stipulates that all connections must undergo periodic inspections. According to the law, all commercial establishments must have electrical inspections done every two years and for domestic connections every five years. All swimming pools must undergo annual inspections. For the month of January 2019, staff of the Electrical Division at the Ministry conducted a total of 215 inspections. This has been your Midday News Brief. Join us tonight at 7 where we bring you the NTN Nightly News with Nisha Charles. Thank you for watching.